Red Zone. Brought to you in part by Macon Bedroom and Mattress, Advanced Roofing of Central Georgia, Open MRI of Macon, Superior Painted Body, and Robbins Bed and Mattress with Bill Shanks and Tucker Sargent. Welcome back. Now to Warner Robins, where the Demons look to continue their magical undefeated season with a game against veterans. The Warhawks had lost six games in a row and were in danger of not making the playoffs, but the Demons have been outstanding, scoring 33 points per game and looking at this game as a warm-up for the big game next week at Bainbridge for the region championship. Here we go to Freedom Field for the highlights on Highway 96 for the video. First possession for veterans. They're going to get it first. And after the, the, the veterans will all take the field, they do. Here we go. They have to punt. Snap slow. Punter has to field off the turf. That allows the Demons to get in there and get a hand on it. Six-yard punt. Demons take over the 21. First play for the Demons, Dylan Fromm. You know who his brother is. He's busy tomorrow. Dwight Hutchinson. How about that pass into the inside the 10 for a first and goal. A couple of plays later, Jarius Burnett leaps over the pile from one yard out. He's got it. Touchdown. And it's 7 nothing against the PAT. Warner Robins. Next, Demons possession. Fromm scans the field, looking from the pocket. Hope his brother has that much time tomorrow. How about that? Jaden Norman over the middle for another first down inside the five. This time, they'll get it through the air. Fromm, well, look at that pass right there. Hey, he's pretty good. Norman, touchdown, back to the end zone, 14 nothing. Demons on the ensuing possession for veterans. Quarterback Leighton Pinkney looking to go deep, but it's overthrown and Keyshawn Duvall of the Demons tracks it down, gets the INT and inside the five yard line after a penalty gives them some breathing room. Jarius Burnett takes the handoff and watch this kid run. Oh man, keep on going. 40, 45, 50, 40, run, run from him. But you know what? They're going to catch him. Oh man, he ran out of gas on the one yard line. How about that? But Javen West would let Burnett take a breather on. He would punch it in for the touchdown. Demons up 21 0. They go on to win it 56 17. Warner Robins now 9 0, takes on Bainbridge next week. Veterans now 2 and 8. They're likely done. Let's stay in Warner Robins. McConnell Talbert, Hoko at Northside. Here we go for the video of this game where the uh, big two games, so two teams in Warner Robins, 14 7 Eagles in the half. Third quarter, Bears punting on fourth and three. But Bobby Scream, see the Northside defender jump off sides after penalty. They're going to pitch it out to Khalil Polk. And then Caleb Thomas gets the game. Then things started to go wrong for Hoko. After holding Penny set up the second long, Polk takes the hand off the sweep and he's buried in the backfield. That's up a third and 28. Quarterback Isaiah Harris looks downfield. Can't find anyone open. And he gets sacked. Eagles defense gets fired up on that play. Later in the third quarter, the Bears offense trying to spark it. Harris is going to overthrow deep downfield, and Xavier Duncan somehow comes up with a catch despite being blanketed by two Eagles defenders, but it wouldn't be enough there. Eagles would win this game on the last second field goal from Corey Munson from 33 yards out. They win it 17 to 14. Eagles now 7-3. Hoko falls to 2-7. The FPD Vikings hosted Mount DeSales tonight. Here we go for some second quarter action with FPD up 14 to nothing. With the ball, their quarterback Dalton Cox hand off to number five, Robert Johnson. He gets swallowed up by the Cavs defense. Now Cox looking back, and this one is complete to Titus Moore. Great play there for about 20 yards and a first down. Vikings driving. Cox now with the throw, and it's going to be picked off by Luke Leatherwood. Big INT for the Cavaliers right there as they're trying to get some momentum. They would struggle offensively, however, as the running game has got nothing on this play right here, so FPD would get it back, and they would stall offensively. It's good defense there. Cavs try again, hand off to number 20, Zach Taylor coming. He's going to scamper for a few yards near midfield. Here's Josiah Cotton with a run, and he battles his way for a few yards. Mountain Sales would score as we were walking out the door. That would make it 14-7 Vikings, and FPD would hold on to win this game by two touchdowns, 28-14. The Vikings are now 7-2, and the Cavs fall to 5-4. We've got the other big game in Region 7 as our game of the week, Stratford at Tattnall, right after this. Don't forget, you can watch the End Zone live on the 41 NBC app. Download today. Tonight's catered meal for the End Zone crew provided by Genghis Grill. Build your own stir fry. 